The next book is a realistic fiction novel by author Ben Philippe. It's called The Nor Field Guide to the North American Teenager. And it is, so Ben Philippe is new to the YA scene. He uh, published this book in 2019 and it won the Morris Award, which is the best, um, best novel by a first time author of that year. So he, this was his first novel and he won and it, it's really, it's great. Um, he has also come out with a new book called Charming as a Verb. It's getting a bunch of buzz right now. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading that one as well. In Field Guide to a North American Teenager, um, we get a glimpse of life through the lens of, of Norris, who's a black teen from Toronto who has recently moved to Austin, Texas. He's an avid hockey player and he's quick with his words and he always carries a yellow journal around with him. In this journal, he writes down um, his observations about high school life and teens. These observations, although very witty, can be pretty cutting if somebody else were to read them. They're his very honest first impressions of what people, of these people, these new friends, friends that he is encountering. Um, each chapter of the book starts with his observations on teen life. And so like chapter five says, um, it's called part-time job. Identifying characteristics, occasionally demeaning work that one would never choose to pursue save for a specific financial goal. Habitat, typically occurring in places with sticky floors. And so throughout it, he has these little observations. Sometimes they're, they're funny and sometimes the person who reading that they're about might not think they're very nice. Um, most of the time they wouldn't think they're very nice. Um, so at the heart of this book is a story about first impressions, um, unexpected romance, and generally finding your place and voice in high school. And I think that Norris, who is a very confident um, character, he has, um, or comes across as a confident character, he has a lot to learn about life and we and relationships and how he interacts with people and especially about how um, first impressions are made and that you really shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Um, so this book is available in the library. I'm super excited to share it with you. Please let me know if you are interested in checking it out and I will have it sent to your room um, in the building. All right, have a great day and um, enjoy your Thanksgiving.